Hi, my name is Christopher Hart. I'm a cartoonist and the author of many books on how to draw cartoons. And today, I'd like to give you a tip on character design. Character design doesn't always start off with a kind of uh, odd looking head shape. A lot of times, it starts off with a completely bland head shape. And we use that as our canvas to start a new character. So I want to start a new character today. And with a kind of head shape I've used a million times, maybe even a zillion times. But I've used a lot. Here is the center line. And he's going to face this way, of course, with the center line. And here's his neck here. I'm going to put the ear here to kind of anchor it down. Once you put the ear on it, it looks like you've committed to a certain look or, or angle. And I will also do the same thing here. Look at this. See, this is kind of nondescript. Well, I'm going to bring this down for the jawline. And erase that. You see, all of a sudden it looks like a real jawline there. Here is the neck. And now watch, now let's start to change it. Let's say I'll, I'll bring it back a little bit, okay? I'll give him a little bit more head behind here. So I've, I erase this part and I, I bring this in. And maybe I'll bring the ear in a little bit so I can show the back of the head because I really want to show the back here. But the ear is in the way. So I'll erase it. All right, so now we have a different type of head happening right here. All right, so now I'm going to bring the top here in, and I'm going to bring the eye line up. I think I'd like to do that. I think the eye line is going to help dictate what the head will look like. So that's the line of the eye. Here is the cheekbone. And I'll bring that right down like this. Really pretty extreme, but I think we can handle it. Let's put the nose here, have a beak-like nose. And two small eyes, pretty far apart. I'm going to float them in the middle of the face. Kind of a Surprise look. Let's give him a small mouth. Bring the upper bottom lip up. It's kind of a funny look. I'll bring this down a little bit. And make this a little narrower. We're just just notice that we're working in stages. In stages, not just all at once. Now I'm going to shave down the top of this head. There you go. Look at that. We just take a whole bunch off there. It kind of looks good like that. Because I want to bring the hair here. Look at that. So I'd like to have that little line here. I don't want the hair to go way up. I don't have to anymore because it's, the forehead is so low. Eyebrows like this. I actually think that I'd like to, it's a kind of a second thought, I'd like to shave off that jawline and taper it. Yeah, like that. So the whole thing kind of all tapers to the bottom. Shade that. And now we have all that hair here, which is great. I'll put them here like this and give them a little bit of a collar. And I was thinking of putting eyeglasses on him. And I think I'm still thinking about it. This doesn't have to be perfect. We're not, none of us are using templates for this. None of us is, not none of us are. Yes, I listened during English class. I know it would shock my teacher, but I did listen. All right. So now I can, uh, I'm gonna actually, do I want them that much here? Uh, let's see what it would look like if they worked, all right? Let's see if I did this. Yeah, it wouldn't look better. It looks fine this way. So that's what's gonna happen. I'm going to take this off, give them like a more slopey front. And how about we use a marker and see what you've come up with. So instead of just a very 
ordinary head shape, we use all these slight maneuvers like shave this off, make this angle steeper, to give it a kind of a unique look. All the while though, make sure that you kind of feel it. Make sure that you feel it. Like, does this feel like it works? If it doesn't, erase it. Do it again. Put it back the way it was. Okay, so those eyes are there, kind of obviously surprised. How about, should we lift them up? Maybe, yeah, I'll lift these up so they're out, out of the range of the eyeglasses. So a lot of art is strategic. It's how will I place this so it will look the best, so it will have the best effect. And you have to think about it. And these questions that you ask yourself are not complicated, but you, you need to be able to identify what it is you're doing and how you can best present it. Okay, so that's a big rim, good. This, this, because it's on the far side, won't be quite as big. There we go. And I can go through here, but I think I'll just leave it there. I won't even demonstrate that. I'll let the, I'll let the eyeglass overlap that line there. I won't show it. Here's that jaw. And we'll bring that around. And that funny ear he's got with just one scoop in the side. We'll bring this line of the neck a little bit further forward. A little shadow under here. Like so, here is the arm, the glasses. And like this, a few streaks for the hair. And we'll shade that in as we did with a pencil. And I'll leave it kind of brushy over here. Here is sideburn here. There you go. Here is a fun character for you. It looks different from that generic character and fun and not extreme. So I hope you give yourself the freedom to try the different things, knowing you can always put it back. Why be constricted? I hope you also will subscribe to my channel. I'd love to have you as a regular viewer. I have many videos, and if you post a request, I will read it and hopefully, and often, get back to you. Thanks. See you next time. Bye-bye.